Okay, so uh, there's this position that I've been calling the mantis guard, right? And it's based off the idea of gripping your shin like this. Okay, now you can do it from a reverse deli heel position or deli heel position. So the reverse deli heel position is here. You're gripping your shin and you're using that to support the, uh, the deli heel hook here, the reverse deli heel hook. What's nice about this is no matter how much pressure they put into you, it kind of like redirects it over the top of you and makes it really easy to attack kisses the dragon type stuff. But that's not the whole mantis guard. The mantis guard can also be set up from the deli heel position. And this is where some people get confused because this is also the mantis guard and it's just as uh, effective of a control and maybe even better for attacking, okay? So what I like to do is if they put this leg forward, I'll play this position, the reverse man, just guard here. But if they put the other leg forward, I'll set up the mini Delaheva side man, just guard, like this. Okay, so I'll let this do so it's turn a little bit. Get it on camera. So here, this position, in the gi, you can grab inside your pants, which is a pretty strong grip here, but you can also grab your shin, whatever you prefer. Now what this does is, no matter where he goes from here, he's not really going to be able to pass unless he frees his foot. Like, no matter where he goes, like trying to move around a little down, like, he can't really cut, turn the corner. If he starts going that way, I'm going to be able to spin underneath him. If he tries to, like, step over my head, like, it's, it's really, like, give, just giving me position the whole time, okay? So this position is very safe to go for when the guy is standing. Now what usually happens is when you get to this position here, my goal is to get into like a waiter sweep position. So I'm gonna be here, and this foot, it's important I don't let it go past his hip because I don't want him to get me into a leg drag position here. Even if, you, if he does get into a leg drag position, you're still pretty safe because this is actually the counter to the leg drag. If someone gets you in a deep leg drag and you underhook their leg, you're probably gonna be okay because they need this leg back to actually finish the leg drag. So that's why it's a really reliable position because there's not a lot of offensive moves you can do to kill it. So what I'm looking for here is to get this free leg underneath his thigh. By hooking it underneath his thigh, I can hook here or here, but if I go here, it kind of encourages him to start to step this way. And that's what I want, because no one's just gonna stay standing when they get to this position, because they're gonna feel really off balance. If he stays here, I'll just be able to tilt him back. Usually they're gonna drop to a knee and try and deal with the position by grabbing my, my knee just like this, right? But what's good about this is, when I get this lock in really tight, it's almost impossible for him to just pull his foot out. It's way too tight right around his ankle. And that's what makes this position really strong is because he cannot pass until he frees his foot. Okay, so I have all this time to start setting up attacks. So there's two attacks that I want you guys to go for. The first one is just setting up a basic waiter sweep. So all we do is we underhook the thigh and I just slide my knee up to under his knee. Then we're in the perfect waiter sweep position. You'll notice my left leg is inside because if I go here, and you're not going to gain quite as much leverage, you can still finish the waiter sweep, but if the guy has really long legs, he may be able to triangle around your head, which, like here, which can happen, and it's just an uncomfortable place to fight at. So when we go from the, the man's guard into this deep half waiter sweep position, I'm gonna keep this knee under his thigh. Then I'm gonna slide up, and all I'm gonna do is extend everything out and down, okay? So we can, we can just come up into our position, okay? So if he steps forward with the right foot, all I'm going to do is reach underneath. I can grab inside the pants or grab over my shin. If he's moving around a lot and trying to pass, I like to just secure the position with the double grip over my shin. Okay. Then once he starts to slow down, my left foot here is going to hook to the side and extend him away. Forcing him down to his knee and making him deal with the position like this. So then like we just covered, we can go to the waiter sweep. But another really good option here, because all his weight is on this side anyways, I'm just going to go right to X guard here. So my leg just comes here and just does a quick switch right to X guard. Now my hand here, you'll notice it goes right behind his knee. Because I need to go behind the knee because I want to be able to torque it and turn him away from me. If I just try and go from to X guard and bring his leg up to my shoulder here and try and sit up, he may have the ability to drive me down. It's going to be hard to deal with the X guard sweep like that. So what I want to do is I'm here, come to the knee, get to the X guard position, grab my hands and turn the knee. This is going to allow me to turn him away and he's not going to be able to drive back into me nearly as easily. And also by turning the knee like this, it makes it really hard for him to just kick his leg out. If he tries to pull away, I've created this hook. And no matter how hard he pulls, I'm just going to go with him. Whereas if we just do it how some people like to go XR here, he can pull his leg out if we're not super tight fit. So those are the two options I want you guys to go for. We're here in a Delahiva position. This is actually a really good position when they start pushing your foot off the Delahiva. So we go here and he pushes my shin and starts popping my shin off. And you don't have any other options. This is a strong passing position for a lot of people. So a great time to go for this man to start position here. Now we're really secure. He can't really go anywhere. The second he gives me this hook, I'm extending. I can go right to the waiter sweep. 
if I feel comfortable with the X guard, I'm just bringing my leg through and across, bringing my knee to my hand to his knee, and turning his knee. Once the knee is turned, I'm safe. I extend, stand up. If you want to finish the sweep, you can just kick the leg, or what they, you can do if the guy's dragging you away, trying to pull away, is you let him pull, let him pull, you drag and reach the hip, and start attacking the back. Okay, so the two positions, real fast. Here on the shin, extending him away. We have the waiter sweep here. Say that doesn't work. We're just gonna extend away again, bring the leg across, get to our elbow, turn the knee, kick away, stand up. Any questions? Let's try those two on three. One, two, three. Ooh.